Hey guys, it's Di from Bags for Bubbles, and today is just gonna be a quick, chatty, probably not quick, but it's just gonna be a chatty catch up vlog just to kind of like let you guys know what's going on. And I wanted to talk a little bit about selling things, the fashion file, which I just did recently, and kind of give you like an update on that. And I'll do a collection update video coming up soon. But things have just been crazy. If you follow my other channel, you know, like the, like the past six months have been crazy. We had a car hit our house, we were out of our house, and then we had some unusual things happen to us over the summer. And it was just, yeah, I feel like I'm just keeping up. I'm just now getting to a point where I feel like I'm getting a handle on everything. But long story short, each week I'm like, you know, I've got all these videos to film. I wanna do this for Bags for Bubbles. I wanna do this for Be Mine with Style. And the week just passes me by and time is just getting away from me. So I wanted to sit down and film a quick vlog today and I normally try to do a more formal, like sit down with my lights and all that kind of stuff for Bags for Bubbles just cause that's what I try to do on that channel and or this channel and um it's this is what you're getting today i'm sitting in my living room floor the cat's been coming in and out and the kids are home so they may run through i don't know but i wanted to do a video and just kind of catch you guys up and i'm hopefully getting a little bit more on track it's hard enough to manage one youtube channel and i manage multiple channels and when life is going well it's a little bit easier and then when life goes crazy and goes upside down it definitely becomes a lot to manage. But anyhow, long story short, we're just gonna do a quick chatty catch up vlog and then hopefully I'll have some different things like collection videos coming up, a little bit more in depth explaining kind of like where I'm at on different things. And um, I've had some requests on Bean Mommy with Style to do like my makeup looks that I've been gravitating towards the past month or so. So I'll try to do those for you guys and put it on this channel. So this is what I'm using right now. I'm using my Balenciaga bag. And really, like after all these like major life events started happening, like I didn't have time to deal with like weeding out my collection when those were going on, obviously, just because my focus was on all the other stuff going on. But now that things have calmed down, I really just kind of felt like I got the momentum to finally deal with it. And if you've been following this channel for a while, you know it's kind of been like a long time coming. I've got a lot of stuff that I just feel like doesn't suit me anymore, or just I'm in a different phase. And I just, a lot of stuff's been going on. So I feel like I finally hit a point where I could deal with it. The, the selling groups that I normally sell in, you know, they're kind of slow right now. Stuff just sits there for a while. And I just don't want to deal with that, honestly. I don't want to deal with, have to deal with them myself. So I finally, for the first time, tried Fashion File. And I have never literally sold anything to them before. But I'd seen it recommended in some of the like chatty groups for the purse gals that um, you know they'd had really you know good experiences selling the fashion file so I thought I would try it out. And just a little disclaimer, I had like this whole video planned out and I filmed everything I was gonna send to them in the first round of stuff and I was explaining everything and you know it's gonna be this great video explaining the whole process and showing you my experience and I deleted that footage. And so then I sent those things off and I no longer have them to show you. So we're just gonna talk about it today. Um, but basically, the thing that I did is I just took pictures on my phone. I literally logged into Fashion File on my, it's like Safari browser on my phone. And you just upload the pictures right in here. You can see like it, it just tap to add pictures from your phone, write a brief description, you tell what designer it is, and you submit. So, so easy. So I loved the process. And then they send you back a quote in a couple days, and you can go through and pick and choose the things to send them. Now when I got the quote backs, you know, I'm used to selling in the groups and the way that these like private groups work is typically like the prices are a little bit lower than eBay because you're not paying all the fees and all that, but you usually get a pretty good price for your stuff. But the trade off is you have to handle everything to deal with it. It's great to like be able to hang out with like minded people on the internet that like the same bags that you like and that sort of thing. But if you know, the things aren't moving that quickly, things just may sit and sit and sit and you're the one that has to deal with doing the listing of everything and doing the shipping of everything and you're the one taking on all the risk for everything so it's just like a very like long-term thing I hit a point where I was just I, w I wanted to do it and I wanted to do it now so I decided to try out fashion file and basically what I've done at this point is I had a round of about four or five items that took pictures of two of them were bags 
and then a couple of them were accessories and I sent them the pictures and then they send you a quote a day or two later and then you can go through and pick and choose what you're gonna actually send to them and that's what I actually ended up doing so I had two bags one was the Alma PM that we've talked about extensively on this channel um, does it work for me does it not work for me you know I went through a period where I was trying to make it work really at the point that I'm at now I feel like I have a couple like darker like gray or black Balenciaga bags that's what I'm going to carry if I'm going to want to carry a black bag that's just where I'm at that Alma was a pretty bag but it's just too structured so that is one of the bags I ended up sending to them I also got a quote from my Emprunt uh, Lumi, which I really like it, but I've gone to like more crossbody, smaller bags. So I just got a quote. I ended up not liking the quote they gave me, so I'm going to hang on to that one. But then I sent a couple accessories. I had some multicolor accessories, a charm, I think, in the first one. Just some random stuff that I literally hadn't used in such a long time. So I got the quotes for those, and they were acceptable to me, so I shipped all that stuff off. So then after I shipped them the things, I think it was the bag, the strap for the bag, a multicolor cosmetic, and a charm. I shipped it all off to them in one box, and then they got the things, and then a few days after they got them, they just paid me the money for the quotes that they give me, and it was done. Like, that was it. It was done, and you don't have to deal with anything else. To me, the process was so much easier than having to deal with, like, these private cells in the groups where it's, like, sometimes if you list things up, if you guys are in the group, you know, you're like, I have a Balenciaga. I don't actually have a Balenciaga bag for sale, but let me just say you're posting up a picture for your bag, and you're like, I have this bag for sale, and you get, like, you know, everyone has a thousand questions, which is fine because obviously it's a big purchase, but it just is very, very time consuming. With the fashion file thing, just boom, you send them the pictures, they send you a quote, you decide whether you want to do it or not, you mail it off and it was done. So if you're time strapped, I would say it definitely is a great way to go. Um, if it's one of those things where you're like wanting to get the most out of it, it's probably not the best way to go because the quotes that you get are going to be very, very low because then they're turning around and marking up the item to compete against the eBay prices. So you're basically going to get like half of what it'd be worth if you sold it on eBay, but they're taking on all the risk. Like you're not taking on any risk. So for me, it was worth it. So long story short, I sent them some more things for quotes today just to get an idea and I'll let you guys know how that goes in a future vlog. Um, but for me overall the fashion file process was positive obviously because I sent them some more things today and then I will give you guys a collection update to let you know what I'm keeping and I feel like I finally hit a point where I'm kind of getting a feel for what's working for me at this stage of life. My kids are getting older, they're like younger grade school age, Natalie's pre-K four, and I'm really liking the smaller bags, crossbody. We don't have to carry that much with us. We live in the suburbs, so if I need like baby wipes or lotion or whatever else, that all stays in my car. I don't have to carry them around in my bag. So really in my bag, my main things are like my keys, my camera case, I'll do a proper what's in my bag later on um, for anyone that doesn't like chatty vlogs, but like my makeup case and like that's really about it. There's some random stuff that I've thrown down in here. Oh my, my card case, which I already have some hay apparently because we went on a hay ride yesterday. But um, you know, I mean, I'm carrying literally back to like my basic things that I carry. I don't have to carry a lot of extra stuff because the girls are older now. So the crossbody style, for the longest time, if you have been with me since the beginning of my channel, I loathe crossbody bags. I did not understand like why people use them. I despise them and like I was very anti-crossbody like around 2012, 2013. Life changes, your situation changes, your taste changes, your, your preferences change. And that's kind of where I'm at. So now, like, I love them. They make it easy because my hands are free and where I'm at right now, they work out really well because I don't have to carry that much with me. So that's kind of my general chatty update on life. Uh, if you want to see more in depth <laughs> what's going on in our lives, um, definitely check out Being Mommy with Style. That's where we do all of our vlogs over there. We're getting ready to go back to Disney World and that's very exciting. We're gonna be going to a couple of the Christmas parties, doing some media stuff down over there. So I'm very excited about that. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of exciting holiday vlogs over there, but long story short, I am hoping to get all of my little ducks in a row and get things going on multiple channels here, at least on this channel. Um, I do a toy channel with my kids. We do toy reviews on that channel, and then Be Mommy With Style. So, that's what's going on with me. Hopefully you guys are all doing well over here and I will have some handbag videos coming up for you shortly. 
do a collection update after I get all of this stuff out that I'm not using anymore or have literally never used. There were a couple things. I was just writing the description and was like, no, never used. I'm like, oh, this is horrible. But um, that's, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I'll do a what's in my bag. You know, still really loving the Balenciaga bags. These really are like my core. You have to... This really is one of those styles where it's like, I think, take it or leave it. Like, some people love them, some people don't love them, um, but I do. I just, you know, I like this style bag, so I have my Balenciaga bags, and I'm planning on keeping those. I am keeping some LV bags. I'm not getting rid of all of them, but I just don't need as much. Like, I'm really hitting a point where, you know, I did the KonMari. I did that in a lot of places in my house. I'm very, very happy with it. The bags were one of the toughest parts, and then we moved, and then the house got hit. But I mean, it is one thing after another. I didn't feel like I had the mental space to take care of it, but we're there now. <laughs> so um, I feel like I want the space now more than anything. I just want the empty space more than a bag just sitting there. So that's what's going on with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this chatty vlog. I'm sorry it's not like in my normal spot and all that, but I was like, if I don't just sit down and film this video, it's not gonna get done. So we're going old school YouTube style on this. So that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It lets me know that you're out there. And if you like Disney vlogs, those are coming up very soon on Being Mommy with Style. Thanks for watching. Bye.